From the police state to tectonic plates, touch, sense, and tattoo take the temperature of tyranny on Freedom Frequency 1871, coming to you live now. This is America. We have founding fathers that wrote a constitution that we haven't lived by in 142 years. Were they serious when they said they planned on owning the weather by 2025? There's no official explanation yet of what people reported in the skies over Detroit last Thursday night. I've been watching the airplanes tonight, and it wasn't quite as high as them, I witnessed David Levy told Fox 2 News. You could actually see the triangle shape of the object. Levy was with a group of friends in Flat Rock around 9.30 p.m. on January 10, according to Fox 2 News reporter Ron Savage. In fact, our Fox 2 Facebook page has been blowing up with hundreds of posts on the subject, Savage reported. One Facebook poster named Sean wrote, They were black triangle-shaped objects making circles over West Bloomfield and Farmington Hills. There was no noise and they had bright lights. I'm not making this up and I know somebody else saw these things. Watch this Fox 2 News report about the Detroit UFOs during the Fox 2 report. News anchor Hill Perkins said, for years, the Air Force conducted an investigation of so-called UFOs. They found no official proof. Was he referring to the Air Force's famous project Blue Book, which ended a two-decade-long study of UFOs in 1969, concluding that 5% of the case's approximately 700 sightings investigated could not be easily explained away? What did Perkins mean when he said the Air Force found no official proof? Proof of what? While Detroit area observers wondered what those triangular-shaped aerial objects were, also on January 10, almost 20 miles north of Detroit, in Moron, Mitch, an equally puzzling object was recorded on video. As reported by latest UFO sightings, the bright lights on this object turned on and off, as it went through a variety of shapes, including a triangle. Check out this UFO scene over Moron, Mitch. Michigan was home to one of the most infamous of all UFO sightings in history. In 1966, while he served as the official Air Force scientific advisor to Project Blue Book, astronomer J. Allen Hynek declared that a UFO sighting in Dexter, Mitch, was probably caused by swamp gas, a term that would hunt Hynek for the rest of his life, and one which has often been cited around the world since then. Hynek's swamp gas theory even angered then-Michigan Congressman and future President Gerald R. Ford, who said in a 1966 radio broadcast, I believe Congress should thoroughly investigate the rash of reported sightings of unidentified flying objects in southern Michigan and other parts of the country. I feel a congressional inquiry would be most worthwhile, because the American people are intensely interested in the UFO stories, and some people are alarmed by them, Ford said. Almost 50 years later, not much has changed.